specialty mushrooms the produce of our times? Can you elaborate on this and why you think they're the produce of our times? I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of reasons, I would think. I mean, like, so uh, we can do short-term and then sort of long-term stuff. Um, mushrooms fit into every fad diet that I've encountered, except, like, someone told me that they were a meat eater or something, where they only eat meat. Um, it's the first time I've heard that one. Um, and mushrooms wouldn't work there. Um, but uh, we have we, we have a lot of paleo, keto, all these kinds of things, and as people care a little bit more about their health and they're learning all of the you know aspects of their gut and different thoughts about how to you know manage their own diet, mushrooms fit into every single one of them, as far as I can tell. Um, and you know there are definitely some people who can be allergic to mushrooms, but it's fairly uncommon. I think most people just have bad experiences with mushrooms and um, in our opinion we just need to change that um, where I think it gets really exciting is that mushrooms are so visually pleasing and like absolutely foreign to most people that um, we're, we're, we're kind of going into this like visual world where people are looking at their Instagram they're looking at videos and they're just like experiencing most stuff visually whether it's on the computer or in person and mushrooms don't look like anything else you know it's like lettuce like romaine might sort of look like uh cabbage might sort of look like some kale and but and some mushrooms might look like other mushrooms but you know when you start digging into the kingdom you know you'll find so many different visual you know so much different inspiration visually that doesn't exist anywhere else and i think that intrigues so many different people um that People want to eat it, they want to be healthy, but then they want to talk about it, they want to share it, they become mushroom fanatics. Um, and I think that, you know, by bringing that to the masses and bringing that, bringing more than the, the button and portabella um, to, you know, the masses of people, um, we can get more people excited and, you know, have, have a really interesting future where um, people are eating a lot more of these kinds of products. I was read, I have to read all these like food trends, you know, and I, it's funny, like getting emails about grocery store trends and all this kind of stuff, but pretty much everyone has always said mushrooms. Mushrooms always have a place in, in food trends since like 2017 or something like that. Um, but what I've noticed is this year, they think a lot of it has to do with, um, like sustainability and sustainably eating, um, and like understanding where your food comes from, which I think is like about time. Um, I really hope that you know, that actually is a trend that, that really sticks around. And mushrooms are one of the most, easily one of the most sustainable foods that you can get in your grocery store. I mean, I think that um, depending on the production, like lentils, I think, are technically like the most, they're carbon negative um, as far as all foods are concerned. Um, the growing and, pro and packaging process sucks out more carbon than it um, puts out. But close to that is are most mushroom productions. Um, you know, there with any sort of agriculture, there's distribution, there's waste, there's all sorts of ways that a company can be doing it incorrectly. But um, nonetheless, you know, I think most mushroom productions by just by growing mushrooms are growing a pretty sustainable form of calories and, and nutrients.